Welcome back. Now let's take it one step further. We did PIMA. We did PIMAMI. And now we're going to go, so like PIMA is kind of like just going right down the guitar. PIMAMI is going down the guitar and coming back up. Now we're going to add one more time. We're going to go down the guitar, come back up, and go back down the guitar with our fingers. So P I M A M I M A. So P ma mi ma. Sounds funny, doesn't it? So like if I did my E chord. All right, so let's look at that. And that works really good if you're in 4-4 time. So it's like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. All right? P-I-M-A is just 1 and 2 and or 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? It's an even number. P-I-M-A-M-I is good for 6-8 or triplets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or one and a two and a one and a two and a right and the p i m a m i m a one and two and three and four and all right so that works really good with four four time so let's uh, dissect this a little bit and figure it out again before you start your pattern set or plant your fingers we're going to pluck just like we did on p i m a and then we're going to come back and get the second finger and the first finger and then we're going to come back and get the second finger and the third finger okay so the only time you plant is when you start so keep your hand close don't be doing this thing with it okay don't be plucking that way all right so let's try a couple of open strings at first. We're going to go slow. That's like we had, and now we're just going to keep going. Plant. Again. One more time. So let's try some chords again. Let's pull out our favorite chords that we've been doing. They're easy to make a progress through. Let's start with A minor. So we're going to go A minor. Set. And now E. Plant it. A minor, A minor again, now let's try E, there you go, now if that was too fast of course you can slow it down. Basically, if you got this down, and you got the, to add the extra two fingers at the end, it's really not that hard. I mean, you could do this. I mean, you could do the one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two. I mean, you could do that as a pattern over and over just to practice that out, okay? So those are the three that I like to use. Those are the three that I see when I'm analyzing music and different performers. Those are the three that come up the most as well. So now you can play around. And because the PIMA is an even number, one, two, three, four, or one and two and, right? And the PIMAMIMA, Right? That's also an even number. Now you can start to actually kind of combine those. 
Here's a song that I've written and I'm currently writing. It's called Sueños, which means dreams. And it uses the P-I-M-A-M-I-M-A -M -M -A, along with P-I-M-A and other types of picking patterns. But this is how it starts. Right? And then in the middle of it, So what is that? Let's analyze. A minor, P, I, M, A, C, E. Now, here on the E, just to give it a little color, I played my bass on the A string, which is B, so E, G, B, it's the fifth of the chord, and then I played the E. So you can do that. It adds a little color to the E chord to give it a little bit of color. All right, so you can play around with that a little bit as you play. So I go A minor chord, C, E with a B on the bass, and a low E. And then I do an E. See that? P-I-M-A-M-I-M-A, -M 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 -A, right? Oh, that's a part of the P-I-M-A-M-I. -M -M -I. And I just ended on the M and just kind of pause. And then you can start over again. And you just throw little fingers. So it's fun to play, and you can do different fingering variations as you go. See that? And then in the middle, it kind of went with different fingerings, just little parts of it. See that? I just, I did a little bit in there, just a little bit, and then. See that? I still, I kind of like I'm starting, and then I went back. And so on and so on and so on. So it's a lot of fun. Once you get that fingering down, you can start to do little parts of the fingering. You can do sections of it and just have a lot of fun. All right. So keep working on that. And then all of a sudden you're going to start to be creative and you're going to think, wait, what would happen if I played backwards? You know, and so on and so on. And then you can start to play around with the different fingers and start to break the rules. Because that's where the fun comes in, is once you learn it, then go ahead and break the rules. Or maybe start in the middle. Like here's my A minor chord, and I pluck the thumb and the second finger together. See that? Now all of a sudden you have a melody going with the right hand plus playing a bass at the left hand. So that's kind of like a double, a double stop or a double pluck. Okay? Or you can even have more fun with that instead of doing every finger by itself. You can go like thumb one and then play two and three at the same time. And then maybe go back to one, the I, and then two again. You get a see that? So you got P I M A together. Right? So you can play around with that.
So you can have fun playing with the different chords and just learn the rule, learn it good, and then break it. Have fun with different fingering combinations. Play two fingers together, play them in different orders. Um, and then once you start to get really good at that, maybe switch your fingers to the other strings in here and then move them around wherever you are and have fun with your creativity. Cool? So have fun with this. Work hard. Work patiently with yourself. Be very deliberate, like I said. Practice carefully to get it right the first time. And then once you got it down, start breaking the rules and just really being creative and play it. And then you have a sound in your mind, play it and figure it out. And then all of a sudden you go, that's the sound I was looking for. That's the technique I was looking for. I found it. Write it down, record yourself so you don't forget it, and then go on from there. That's where the creativity comes in. Have fun with this and enjoy the journey. See you in the next one.